Hello. Thanks for attending my talk on Atlassian's Open DevOps integration with GitLab. My name is Jason Spriggs. I'm a senior solutions architect over at Adaptivist, a consulting shop focusing on Atlassian products, DevOps solutions, and a number of other niches across the tech, productivity, and product management space. To start off this tech demo session, I'll quickly go over what Atlassian's Open DevOps is. Released earlier this year, the Open DevOps suite pulled together the best of developer and DevOps productivity product integrations into a set of streamlined user interfaces spanning Atlassian products such as Jira Software, Confluence, Ops Genie, and Bitbucket. One of the goals with Open DevOps was to pull these integrations in under one umbrella, allowing for each development team to use the tools best suited for their needs, while giving them as much unified visibility to stakeholders and other dev teams as possible. Atlassian has split these features into a number of categories, planning, coding, building and deployment, operations and monitoring, and collaboration. Today I'll be focusing on the code and deployments functionality brought into the DevOps, open DevOps stack under the gitlab.com for Jira Cloud integration. With the gitlab.com integration, users are now able to gain quick access to various code repositories that might be being built and managed under one or more Jira projects. This allows for easier onboarding of new team members and to allow for folks to more easily understand the complex relationships that might be at play for any piece of software. Similarly, inside of each Jira issue, users are able to view relevant commits, branches, deployments, and merge requests, just as they would with Atlassian native integrations with Bitbucket and Bamboo. Lastly, I'll be going over the new deployments interface, which is packaged with Jira Cloud, to easily view and build view, build, and deployment statuses, development velocity, and other relevant reports directly alongside their respective tickets. It should be noted that these features are also only available in Jira Cloud and GitLab.com and not their self-hosted sister options. With that out of the way, let's get started with setting up the integration. First off, head over to the Atlassian Marketplace inside of Jira Software. From there, you can search for the gitlab.com for Jira Cloud integration, published by GitLab. Once on that product page, click the Get It Now button in the upper right corner of the page and select an Atlassian site to install the integration on. You might need to log in at this point if you have not already done so to see which sites are available to you. We will then follow through the prompts and associate the app inside of our Jira software site. Once associated, hit the Manage App link and then click Get Started. From here, you'll be asked to link your GitLab.com account if you have not already done so and then associate one or more GitLab.com groups or namespaces to your Jira software instance. And that's it. You're off to the races getting your GitLab projects and Jira software projects talking to each other. Now that I've linked my Jira software instance to my GitLab project, I can go in and create a new issue. In this case, I will be updating the max worker threads of an Nginx install to 512. I'll get a new ticket number called 87 that I can go off of. From here, I can copy this ticket ID over into my GitLab branch that I want to work in. So I'll open the web IDE, open up my Nginx config, and make my change. From here, I can commit that change, see what I'm updating, and then in my commit message, reference 87 update max worker threads, and then create a branch with the same name. I'm also going to open a new merge request when I do this commit. From here, I will actually create that, and then go right ahead. As I can see right here, uh, if I am referencing my ticket, I'm able to click on this and open it directly inside of Jira. Similarly, back in the GitLab interface, I'm able to see this new Jira option right here that will actually open up and show me all of my tasks. Once the pipeline succeeds, I'll have this get merged in. 
I can also view my pipeline status right here and see that currently it is going through its build process. Similarly, over in the Jira instance interface, I can go to the deployments tab, which once the deployment has started going into the feature environment, which is later on here in the review section, it will show me inside of here that there will be a new deployment. Now that I have my deployment going inside of uh, GitLab over here, we'll see that we have my review application going, it's gone through its review process, and it's cleaned itself up. Back over here in the deployments tab, we'll see that now there has been a new project review 87 under this issue. If we click into the issue itself, we're able to see not only the commits that we've actually done of where we made the commit, had the merge request, but we've also merged it now into master. We can also see that over here under releases that at some point there was an environment called uh, demo project review 87. We're able to click through into the GitLab interface from here to see where that was actually created and at what end point we were able to view that at. Going back into the deployments interface, we're also able to see the other tickets that we have here and the similar deployments that have occurred to each of those pipelines. In these cases, they were both for feature environments, so they show up with their respective times that those commits occurred. We're also able to click on show more information and see the builds, pull requests, commits, and branches that were associated with each of these and go to their respective repositories or whatnot inside of this interface. After using this interface for a while, you're able to have reports generated showing to average time from deploy to deploy, helping project managers and other key stakeholders better understand the team's velocity on a particular task. Similarly, you can view the process of a commit as it follows through the release cycle, heading to further environments downstream, eventually hitting production. An additional nice feature is that since we have a JIRA project now associated with a commit using that ticket number, it will now show up in the new code tab inside of JIRA software. This allows you to easily see which repos are likely relevant to the work you or your colleagues are doing, and helps assisting in navigating across large code bases and finding likely locations to make changes. From here, you can click on each of the individual repositories to view them, both inside of GitLab or inside of other open DevOps projects, such as Bitbucket or GitHub. The Open DevOps framework similarly has additional functionality that has been baked into JIRA software that spans not just to GitLab. Similarly, with the Code and Deployments tab, there's now also an on-call tab showing your ops genie rotations and who might be a part of them. You can also click to go and view the ops genie schedule from there. Similarly, you can view all of your Confluence documentation pages from the new Project Pages section and easily access all of those. The Atlassian Open DevOps stack has a number of commonplace integrations spanning the developer, DevOps, and product management spaces, allowing for tools to have a central control plane inside of an organization's existing Atlassian platform. These tools currently span a number of industry standard and popular feature flagging, security, QA testing, and observability tools, including Split.io, Datadog, and Sentry. These tools are able to communicate to the Atlassian stack and be automated together to create seamless workflows when actionable events occur, notify the appropriate teams, and assist in the first line of defense tasks for many different work streams. With these new features baked into JIRA Software Cloud, developers, product managers, and stakeholders across the software development chain are able to more effectively get the information they are looking for to make decisions on their team's next steps. If you're looking to improve your DevOps, GitLab, or Atlassian posture, and wish to reach out to find out more about what we can help your team accomplish, swing by the Adaptivist booth after this talk, or head over to adaptivist.com slash partner dash program slash GitLab to find out more about our offerings. As a GitLab Select Partner and Atlassian Platinum Solution Partner, we are uniquely positioned to help guide your team on your next project. Thanks again, and cheers.